going on, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursdays. Today, I'm your host, Brother Darash, and today we're going to be getting into circumcision. So let's get into it. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 10. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised and ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. Every man child in your generations, he that is born in the house or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed, he that is born in thy house. And he that is bought with thy money must needs be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He hath broken my covenant. So here's where Abraham is actually getting the commandment to circumcise. So here Abraham is getting the commandment to circumcise all of his men, whether they were his servants of another nation, his actual children, people of his kindred, everyone had to be circumcised that was with Abraham because it would be referred to as a covenant between them and the most high. Them physically circumcising themselves showed that they were in this covenant or in this agreement with the most high. And this agreement would be an everlasting covenant, which is why it said we would do it throughout our generations or for us and our seeds. Leviticus chapter 12 and verse two, speak unto the children of Israel saying, if a woman have conceived seed and born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days. According to the days of the separation for her infirmity, shall she be unclean. And in the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. So here we see the law being reiterated in the time of Moses, expressing that the descendants of Abraham, also known as the chosen seed, Israel, had to be circumcised. This was the law specifically on the eighth day, as is stated in the book of Genesis. Now, the whole purpose of this is to signify an agreement or a covenant between Israel and the Most High, or between Abraham and in his time, or between Abraham in his time with his servants as servants of the Lord who agreed to live worship and love the lord that was what the agreement was supposed to be in the time of moses it was the exact same thing we had entered into a covenant with the lord and said we're agreeing to be your people well these are one of the things that you had to do you had to physically circumcise every male of israel specifically if a child was born a male child was born they would have to be circumcised on the eighth day so let's see the importance or the significance of circumcision. Let's see what the scriptures talk about if an individual does not get circumcised. Exodus chapter 12 and verse 48. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee and will keep the Passover to the Lord, let all his males be circumcised and then let him come near and keep it. And he shall be as one that is born in the land. For no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. So we see if you didn't become circumcised, you wouldn't be able to partake in the Passover. And the Passover is one of the most prominent feast days that we have. And the scriptures even let you know that if you do not partake of these feast days, then you will be cut off from your people. You will be ultimately destroyed. So here we see the significance is if you aren't circumcised, then you cannot partake in certain feasts, such as the Passover. And if you don't partake in the Passover, then the scriptures say that you will be cut off from your people because these feasts were very important to the Most High. He looked very highly on them and they were commanded for us to keep. But if you weren't circumcised, you couldn't partake of the Passover. If you can't partake of the Passover, then ultimately you're setting yourself up for destruction. So no circumcision equals no covenant. No covenant means no agreement between you and the most high, which ultimately means it's going to go to your demise. No covenant means you're outside of the agreement of the Lord. The agreement that establishes that we will be his chosen forever. We will rule. We will bear a rule of this earth when the time comes. And ultimately it means that there will be penalty or judgment upon you because there's certain things you can't even partake in such as the Passover, which is very important to our nation, as well as other feasts. 
So now we see the purpose of the covenant, excuse me. So now we see the purpose of circumcision. This has been another episode.